Hi everybody, this is Shannon Yvette. And listen, I'm yelling over the ocean, but I wanted you guys to see all this beauty with me as I deliver this prophetic word. Listen, God always confirms his word by two or three witnesses. And today I got behind a car and the license plate said due date. The license plate said due date. We are famous in California for our personalized plates. And so when I saw that, I knew it was God confirming this word um, in Isaiah 60, 22. You know, Isaiah 60 is so potent, it's so powerful, it's so active. Really the whole book of Isaiah is just speaking right now. Our whole ministry is based on Isaiah 61. But before Isaiah 61 came Isaiah 60, and when you read it, it really is a quickening. It's a call to rise and lay hold of everything that God has for you. So the very final verse says that God will multiply. He will make one like a nation. He will make a few like thousands. And then he says, in the time, in the set time, in that due season, I will do it swiftly. I will do it swiftly. Listen, I believe God has a few speeds, right? <laughs> a few modes that he operates in. One is slow, or at least it feels slow to us because he's so strategic. He's always lining up things behind the scenes for legacy, for generations. Even when we think nothing's happening, God is always moving. God is always aligning things behind the scenes. The other speed God has, the other mode he has is steady. God is steady, God is steadfast, God is consistent, right? Just like nature, God is consistent. But the other speed, right, that's mentioned more than 87 times, I think it's roughly about 87 times in scripture, is suddenly, swiftly, that word suddenly, that word swiftly. And so God is saying it's a due date, it's a due date on the promise that I made you. I feel a prophetic activation on writing it down. Write it down, write down the promise that you are expecting from God. There is something powerful about the blueprints that scripture gives us. Scripture literally gives us blueprints and one of those blueprints is in Habakkuk. It says, write down the vision and make it plain. And then it says, though it tarry, though it seemed like it's taken a long time, in that appointed time, it will come. And when it comes, listen, it comes swiftly. God says in Isaiah 60, 22, I am going to bring it swiftly. And so again, it feels like sometimes God is moving slow, but God is always steady because God is a thinking strategic God. He is lining up things behind the scenes that we have no idea about because God is not a right now quick fix. God is about generations. He's setting us up to bless our children's children's children. So when it seems like things are moving slow, trust there's a strategy. Trust that God's nature is steadfast, but there is a due date, there is a due date. And the reason it's so important to write it down is because you wanna stand as witness and remember what you wrote. Listen, I wrote something in Sedona. We did a sabbatical in the desert and I wrote something in my journal. I had a whole journal just dedicated to that sabbatical. I wrote something in my journal on June 7th, on June 7th, and I would have forgotten about it. It was three promises I was really trusting God for. And then, you know, lo and behold, <laughs> that's when you know God is moving when you start using King James language. Lo and behold, I looked up and I was like, wait a minute, did God do that? And he did, but I wouldn't have remembered had I not gone back into my journal. And what's today? We gonna let him pass by. What is today? I think today is like, um, I'm sorry, you guys, things are moving so quick. I think today is August something. So less than 60 days later, I was able to look and see, oh, this thing really had a due date. The Bible says, write it down. You know, when you write things down, you memorialize them. When you write things down, you make them plain. There's so many visions and dreams floating in our head, but when you write it down, it comes to pass. The Bible says, though it tarry, wait for it. When you're waiting for it, you're not waiting on man. You are waiting on God, the most high King who has ordered your steps, who has your yesterday, your, your beginning, your middle, your end, already strategically written and planned out. So when it feels like God is moving slow, 
There are things being aligned behind the scenes to set you up for this effortless season, this anointed season of breakthrough. God is always steady. So there's never a time that he is not working. There's never a time that our angels are not warring and assisting our destiny. But then there's that moment where it's suddenly, where you look up and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh snap, it's here, right? I hear God saying due date due date, due date. And I believe the prophetic activation on this is to write it down, make it plain, put it in your journal, bring it before the Lord and say, God, how do I partner with you in this? What, it, what would you have me to do? And in the meantime, trust worship, sit in his presence, because God is saying, I keep hearing any day now. I know I say that a lot, but it's because we're under an open heaven. It's because we are in such an activation of our words and our faith, bringing things to pass. We are sitting under an open kingdom and God is saying there's a due date. And it's interesting that this due date in Isaiah 60 was attached to multiplication. It was attached to increase. It was attached to God taking our efforts and multiplying them. There is a due date on your dream. There's a due date on your desire. There is a due date with your name on it because it's written in your books of destiny. I don't want anything that God doesn't have aligned for me. I don't want anything that's not a part of my destiny but I want everything that is. Don't you, don't you want everything that God already predestined for your life? And all of those things already have dates attached to them. So we declare and decree by faith that that due date on your dream is any day now. We declare and decree by faith that if you wait for it, even if it feels like it's taking time, God is moving slow, God is always strategic. So even that waiting period, it's lined up for our good. It's for our blessing, it's for our preparation, it's God's grace not to give us something out of season. Nobody wants fruit when it's not ripe. Nobody wants a meal when it's half cooked, right? God is good, God is kind, God is practical. He knows the exact date to deliver that promised baby, that promised vision. And I hear him saying the due date on your dream, on your destiny, it's now, speak to it, declare it, write it down. Write it down because though it tarry, like it says in Isaiah 60, the, Bi the Bible says in Isaiah 60, 22, it is going to come swiftly when the time is right, amen? So let's align with God's time. Let's write it down like we're told to do in Habakkuk 2 and 2. If it tarries, don't worry about it because it's for an appointed time. And that appointed time for so many of us is right now the due date is here glory to his name i will see you guys soon bye